All right, we're going to work on polka dots and moonbeams today, chord melody, uh, solo, guitar solo. And if you would, you have, on your sheet, just go ahead and mark the measure. The measures, I'll talk to uh, the information in them either by what line they're in or what measure they are in. Like right by the treble clef will be your first measure. And wherever you see the, uh, the bar lines, you just put uh, a number there, and that'll help keep you on track there. All right, so... The first thing that we do, the first few measures, um, we'll, we'll start with the F major chord, fifth position is marked there. So uh, F, and then right after that you have A and C. You know, so. Uh, and that's a really good, you know, position for those uh, three types of uh, two note chords that you have there. Uh, single note F, A and C, B and D. B flat E, and then A and F natural. And it's good to, if you want to play this, you know, it's written in eighth notes, but if you want to play it in quarter notes, it will really help you also all the way through. If you want to isolate that, that'll, that'll work out very well for you. So uh, that, that's that first measure again. That second finger, get the G, and then the fourth finger, A, second finger, C. And then we're going to go to a B flat major seven chord. Really nice chord, really great sounding uh, chord that you have that you can play. Aligning your fingers up four, three, two, and one. And that's in the fifth position again. B flat major seven. You can write that on your sheet there. If it's not already written in. B flat major and then uh, seven. And then we go to eighth position, hitting a C major triad, and then another parallel chord with B flat D and F. So basically, you're going to slide from that C major chord to that B flat chord there. All right, so B flat major seven, then the C triad to B flat triad, and then it goes fifth position, and try this A flat, this A minor seven, with the second finger lowest string, and then bar on the fourth, third, second, and and uh, second strings. Stop your pick on that first string catch the melody note. And you're going to go down, the next three chords are parallel chords. So you just go down and that marking should be four on, on your sheet there. And then down to G minor seven. So those are the, on beats two, I'm sorry, beat three, and the end of beat three, and beat four. Okay, so the first finger isn't involved at all, but just a two and a three, just sliding down half steps. And now this chord is going to be, it doesn't have a root, but it's, you, you can consider it a C dominant seven with a flat nine. It's a flat nine, and it's actually a 13 in there. It's a little bit because you got to have to bar over three strings here, over the fourth, third, and second strings. Okay, so that second measure, we're going to look at B flat major seven, C triad, and then A. And you have a fermato of that. You can kind of take your time with that chord there. All right, going to the next measure, we're going to have an F triad, F note, and first position, A and C. And this chord is written G, B flat, and D. But you can also, I like to make that G, B natural, and D. Because it's going to go right up parallel chords, uh, two frets up from the F to the G chord to the A chord, A, C sharp, and E. Okay? You can try that, or... Minor. 
and then it's going to progress to the D minor 7. D minor 7, and then while you're holding that, that especially that bar at, at the first finger, play that line. Just lift the, first, the second finger up, put it back down for F, fourth finger D, uh, fourth, fourth finger G. And let it ring. Let that D minor 7 ring. Okay, so those first uh, three beats, I'm going to put the B natural in here. Alright, so that, that'll set you up very well for the next couple of chords, which are going to be, you can play them in a couple of different positions. Uh, you can play them in eighth position as it's written. This is a diminished chord, second finger on the F sharp. On the ninth fret, first finger, I'm sorry, third finger, tenth fret, first finger, on the uh, uh, eighth fret, fourth finger, on the tenth fret, second string. And this is a parallel chord, uh, or a symmetrical chord. So we're going to go up from there, we're going to go up a minor third or three frets to the next chord. Nice, good sound. And make sure you hit that top note and rest that pick on the first string to catch it, because that's the melody. All right, so taking it, because you're gonna go from here all the way up to here in a course of one measure. So I'll play that measure three. That leads very, very, very good up to until the next chord. Okay, the second line, we're gonna have another B flat major seven type of chord. Okay, so first finger in the uh, uh, eighth fret, and the third finger is going to be in the tenth fret covering the third, second, and first strings. All right, then it's going to progress to a quartal chord, Q-U-A-R-T-A-L, with A, D, G, and C. And then it's going to progress parallel chord down two frets to G, C, F, and B flat. There from beat one. And then throw the low E in there while you're holding. And now, and, and when you're moving, when you're holding that E, you can go to the, this chord. It's kind of like a, a, a E minor 7 flat 5 but in a different uh, type of way. That uh, E minor 7, uh, E minor 11 flat 5 actually. And uh, it was going to cover B flat, 8th fret on the 4th string, 7th fret on the 2nd finger, 1st finger on the 5th fret, so that's why it's 5th position, and A, which you're going to roll there, 5th fifth, fifth fret. Okay. And then you're going to catch the next note G with that fourth finger. And then open A. And then you go to this next chord, it's A flat, A13 flat 9. G, C sharp, F sharp, and B flat. Really nice sounding chord. There's the root. And then make sure you bar that first finger because you're going to have to pick up the A after you pick up the, uh, lift the third finger. B flat A. So that measure in particular is going to take a little bit of practice there to get it right. <clears throat> so let's go for the right from there. Low E. E minor 11. Flat 5. A flat 13. It's a little bit of practice, but it sounds really nice when you get it nice and clear. And you get the open E to ring and the open A to ring. Okay, going to the next measure, you're going to have D minor 7. And then catch the G with the fourth finger. And then actually D minor over C with a C in the bass. So you're going to have the same type of chord but different bass note. And in turn, you're going to have to. Uh, Rearrange your fingers 